Imagine a burning world, close to its star, with heavy clouds of metal floating aloft, raining down titanium droplets. This is how James Jenkins, the co-author of a recent article in Astronomy and Astrophysics, described the discovery. Before we continue, I have a small favor to ask. Please take a second, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and enable notifications. That way, you'll never miss anything new. It only takes a second for you, but it makes a big difference for me. Together, there is still so much to learn and discover. Onwards! First discovered in 2020 by TESS, T-E-S-S, -S, the Transitioning Exoplanet Survey Satellite. TESS looks for drops in visible light as exoplanets cross in front of their stars. This data gives us a rough idea of the size of the planet and the planet's orbit. So far, using this method, over 4,000 exoplanets have been discovered and tagged for further study. There are many methods for this additional study, including CHEOPS, C-H-E-O-P-S, the Characterizing Exoplanet Satellite. CHEOPS uses a very similar method to TESS, but spends significantly more time observing each subject to gain a much more detailed picture. When this data is combined with additional observation methods and some eye-crossing math, we get a surprisingly detailed picture of the exoplanet. Located 262 light years from here, the drably designated LTT 9779b is a Neptune-sized exoplanet orbiting a G-type star much like our Sun. This orbit only takes an inconceivable 19 hours. That puts it 60 times closer to its star than Earth. It's tidally locked, which means it doesn't spin, and it maintains an average surface temperature of 3,300 degrees Fahrenheit or 1,800 degrees Celsius, which is hotter than lava. What makes this planet extraordinary is its proximity to its star should both prevent it from having an atmosphere and make it substantially hotter. But it doesn't, and it isn't. Evidence points to an atmosphere full of metals and silicates with a rain of liquid titanium. Its extreme density prevents it from being blown away by solar activity, and its metal content acts as a giant mirror reflecting 80% of the incoming light. This severely limits the heat it receives from its star. For comparison, the Earth only reflects about 35% of the incoming light. This gigantic space mirror is one of the latest mind-boggling celestial objects that we plan to use the James Webb Space Telescope, as well as the currently being constructed Extremely Large Telescope, to learn more about. What's been discovered so far is almost beyond imagination. So I can't wait to see what we discover next. The wonder is out there. We just have to be looking for it.